We're here at Idle Disrupt in San Jose, and we're talking with NVIDIA. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the company and how you're working together with Igel? Sure. So NVIDIA and Igel are working together to drive innovation and technology so that every user um, can be most productive and successful in the workplace, no matter where they are. We've had a long collaboration with VMware throughout the years in being able to virtualize our um, graphics virtualization technologies. Um, we actually take core VMware components like VMware vSphere, VMware Horizon, and enable our customers to run virtualization on top of the GPU. Our NVIDIA Virtual GPU software enables every virtual machine to get the same benefits that um, a physical desktop has or a physical workstation has. This means that every user can run a great, can have a great user experience no matter what their workflow is, be it high-end um, designers, engineers, and architects running professional 3D applications, or even knowledge workers running Windows 10 and common office productivity applications that are becoming more and more graphics intensive. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited to partner with iGel, who has great solutions in the endpoint OS and management space, and especially with our recent announcement of um, the iGel OS support on the NVIDIA Jetson platform. Um, we're very excited that these two companies are really coming together to bring innovation in the VDI space. That's great. Um, so what are you showing here at the iGel Disrupt conference at your booth? So we're showcasing our NVIDIA virtual GPU solution, our technology. We're comparing it um, against a CPU-only VDI environment. And you can see how a VDI environment powered by NVIDIA Grid really drives a great user experience that enables employees to be more engaged in the workplace and more productive. Is that something we could go take a look at? Sure, I'll take you over there. Knowledge workers today often use high-end or graphics intensive applications across multiple monitors in order to be productive. So here you see a dual screen environment and we loaded the, the CPU and GPU enabled environment with 64 users simulating load. So you can see how uh, one screen you're running YouTube, um, streaming YouTube videos and on the other screen the user is trying to launch Google Earth. You can see on the GPU accelerated VDI environment you already have smooth rendering of satellite imagery, whereas the CPU-only environment, you couldn't even load. The second example is Google Maps. You actually have certain features that don't even show up on your CPU-only virtual desktop, such as the 3D tilt view. You can see on the GPU-powered VDI environment, you can readily use this tilt feature, control and drag, and rotate the terrain easily. The second example shows another productivity situation where the user is streaming an HD video on YouTube while launching Microsoft Excel. So you can see how um, the screen on the left shows video um, playing while the screen on the right is launching Excel. You can see how much more smooth um, the video playback is with less drop frames on the GPU accelerated VDI environment. And you can see that the GPU accelerated VDI environment will load Excel a lot faster and be more responsive. It's actually already loaded while the CPU only VDI environment is still struggling to load. On this other example, it's another productivity example where um, the user is streaming an HD video, perhaps watching training or streaming town hall meetings, and also loading interactive web-based dashboards. You can see how much more responsive the GPU accelerated VDI environment is, how, um, how quickly you can visualize your data in real time. And you can see how CPU utilization is much lower on the GPU accelerated VDI environment compared to the CPU only desktop. And even in single monitor use cases, you can see the difference that GPU brings. WebGL is used in 50% of, or 50 of the top 100 websites today. And animating a simple scene can cause CPU utilization to reach 100%. So if you look at this simple web-based floor planning tool, just zooming in and out and rotating the model is a lot more smooth and snappy with GPUs, whereas the CPU-only desktop still struggles a lot and CPU utilization is nearly 100%. <laughs> This next example likewise showcases WebGL. WebGL is very prevalent in many websites, not just employee intranet websites, even company-facing websites. This example is BMW's website. 
You can see in the CPU-only virtual desktop, a lot of pixelation happens. In the GPU-accelerated virtual desktop, it's a smooth rotation. You don't have jagged edges, and you can see um, the shadows and lighting better. The next example shows Adobe Photoshop. This is one of the examples of tools where um, it's a lot smoother in terms of zooming in and out. And certain features are actually don't work without GPUs, such as the scrubby zoom feature where you can zoom in into a particular part of the picture, like the window, as you can see. The CPU-only VDI, you can't even use this function. So for a better user experience across all your knowledge worker workloads, to be able to um, enjoy an application's full functionality and feature set, <laughs> try and be the grid today. Um, so that's great. Where can our viewers go if they want to find out more information about the products that we talked about? Sure. So you can find out more information from our website, www.nvidia.com slash grid. And to be able to try this experience for yourself, we have a free test drive. It's vgputestdrive.nvidia.com. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog.